So now that we're familiar with ADB, uh, let's take a look at how we pull good logs. So we run ADB devices here. Uh, you have to, of course, make sure that you're set up on your phone, developer mode, and make sure ADB is enabled. Okay, and phone plugged in, of course, to the USB. So ADB device, uh, there we go. We see the uh, H811 device, the LG D4. We just pull a log cat and we're gonna tee that to our logcat example file. So here we go, it runs for a minute, control C, we can make it stop, just like we talked about in previous videos. And we take a look at it and say, oh, well, that's really interesting. Okay, now we've got our logs, and we can search for some things. So one of the things that we can search for, uh, you know, is, is what we're trying to find out. So E, if you do space E space, you're gonna find all the errors. These are errors that have been logged. So then you can just scroll through them and see, okay, okay, here's interesting. Oh, look at all these errors. Now this phone successfully boots up. Here we have these errors that are in there. Uh, you can also do space I space, and you're going to see all the information, right? So that's just information telling you about something. And then uh, D, uh, debugging uh, purposes, uh, space W space for warning. And these are just different levels of the logs that you can look at. Of course, you can also search for um, things like tombstones. When uh, when your system has actually failed, it'll make a tombstone. Kind of a funny picture way of, of thinking about that, but it makes a tombstone a grave site for uh, whatever process that has failed and caused the system to fail. So that's pulling the log cat, and that's taking a look at it. And of course, you know, we can open that up with the uh, with Edit, and uh, there's a lot of information in here. And sometimes that's too much information. Like you just scroll through there, and there's thousands of lines of information that you're just not going to be able to uh, focus on what you need to find. Sometimes you do need the whole log cat, and sometimes you, you're looking for something a little more specific. So how can we pull something specific? Well, let's look at some options we can give. So with log cat, we can say uh, that we only want the errors here. Notice we have that asterisk, the uh, um, colon, and then the E. And so we're going to make this error file. So now, in this one, we only have errors logged. We're not going to see any debugging. We're not going to see any information. We're not going to see any warnings, just errors. Now, this can be dangerous because sometimes you're missing information that you really need uh, on why the error happened. Um, but it does help when you're just trying to find something real quick. Uh, with that, of course, you can choose some other kind of information. Um, let's see. We'll do uh, B radio, we just want to see things that apply to the radio itself. So let's take a look at that. So you can specify that you want a particular piece of equipment um, information. So in this case, we're looking at the radio, things relating to the cellular function of the phone. Um, you can Google the different tags and things. Uh, let's see. Um, let's just grab the warnings. Uh, notice that I said I only wanted the warnings, but I got warnings and errors. So it always takes whatever you ask for plus whatever is more critical than that. And an error is more critical than a warning. So it's going to pull all of those. If I say I just want information, I get all the information plus the errors and warnings. So um, just be aware that by trying to pull something lower, you're going to get everything above that level as well. So just a quick tutorial about how to pull good logs. You're going to be using this a lot throughout this video series.